Hey boys, good evening. We got a new campaign tonight, but uh, there was apparently another patch, no, a uh, patch or hotfix. Let's go see what it is before we start a campaign. Maybe something juicy here. How do you find that website where they put patch notes? Uh, That was even like 10 minutes ago. Uh, yeah, someone was sending a message on WhatsApp. Hey, Looper. Praise be to Nagash. Nagash was weak. Is there only way to see these patch notes on, uh, on Steam and you can see it on, uh, on their website? Oh, there's a website. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, who's this? C.A. Pingu. Greetings, we just rolled out Hotfix 503, bringing with it the changes to Age of Reckoning, which we mentioned in our PESP updates alongside a plethora of fix and fixes. Thank Grungi, uh, Dwarf players can finally play their campaigns. The Dwarves were so crippled until now. Uh, we have done a large pass of Age of Reckoning, uh, balance pass of the Age of Reckoning system in order to try and simultaneously make it less hectic and scale more reasonably. While also maintaining its difficulty to ensure players don't easily max it out every cycle. We also made the following adjustments to the Grudge Shadow units and army rewards granted by the Age of Reckoning to smooth out its impact on the early and late game. Uh, okay, let's uh, sort of have a good look at this. Actually, uh, there's a wall of text here, boys. Wall of text. Uh, okay, grudge targets are now def defined uh, based on the factions you share a land border with rather than all med factions. That make, makes sense, right? You would think that would have worked like this originally. It's almost like they don't realize how big Immortal Empire is and they only test this in the realm of chaos slash wasted resources. Uh, well, the intent remains the same that the wound rush targets will scale up down depending on your affection or your like, local situation. We overlooked some issues that were detrimental to the current gameplay if you revealed too much too quickly beyond uh, own lands, your own lands. Apologies, we will continue to monitor the situation with the above change. Uh, the second reward bracket, Scruff, no longer provides negative control and growth, uh, and the first reward bracket, Elgi, had has its negative slightly reduced. This should make the system feel less punishing if you only manage to reach the second bracket as it acts more like a neutral stage now. Age of Reckonings and their uh, subsequent rewards now last for 15 turns from 10. I like this change. Uh, 10's uh, felt off. 15 turns uh, makes sense. However, we have increased the percentage of grudges required from your local area each cycle to ensure it's still challenging. Grudge targets now scale based on campaign difficulty. We have squished the amount of grudges in the world along with how many grudges are gained by hostile actions. While this shouldn't create too much of gameplay difference as the grudge targets will scale to match, it should make swings in grudge targets feel significantly less drastic. Yeah, it was, it was definitely off. It was definitely off. Ten turns uh, felt... I uh, uh, was not really feeling the mechanic and... Uh, if you were exploring too much, I would go crazy. I have uh, gotten Age of Reckoning uh, to max on my first... Uh, 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 I guess on the first round. In the Malachi campaign. And after that, I completely ignored the mechanic. Following the number... Uh, 
squish, uh, we've reduced the base cost of confederating to 7.5k cell graduates from 50 down from 15k. Additional starting graduates have been added to the world, especially around the Darklands uh, with Chaos Wars. We fixed uh, an issue with second settlements on fully clearing the graduates from the target, allowing it to double dip. Uh, this fix also uh, fixed an issue where uh, enemy settlements would sometimes display grudges for a different culture, such as undead actions when the region is owned by beastmen. We also made the following adjustments to grudge units uh, and army rewards granted by the Age of Reckoning to smooth out its impact on the early and late game. Uh, base size of grudge army has been uh, changed from 15 to 10. Uh, if you get Age of Reckoning on the go, so would have gone been crazy with that starting 15. As the army that spawns if you are uh, successful in clearing the grudges. Add a further plus 3 grudge settler army size to the way of the clan technology for a total of plus 5 and plus 2 to the Togrim's hiking skill for a total of plus 5. Okay, so Togrim have additional buff for that. The cap for maximum units reserved in your, uh, in your grudge settler unit pools has been reduced from 20 to 2. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck they were thinking with 20. It's like all the uh, uh, one of each uh, send the uh, solid, but 2 is uh, fine. I guess it's like uh, close to regiments are known. The cap of the Gratchelder units in your army has been reduced from 5 to 3. Added plus 1 of the unit cap in army to the Warrior Guild tech. Added a further plus one to the unit cap in army uh, to call upon oaths uh, of old tech for total plus two. Because the units are no longer free to recruit. They were even free to recruit. Like, what the hell? Added minus 20% grudge settler unit uh, recruitment cost to the warrior guild tech. So, both balancing uh, to uh, off uh, Age of Reckoning mechanic. And to a super overpowered Grudge uh, Settler units mechanic. Roast Worm Rescaling. Uh, as part of uh, 503, we are making a pretty significant change to the Frost Worm by reducing its size by roughly a third. See below. Oh, it's a, now a baby worm. Envisioned as a mid-tier uh, fast mover, the Frost Worm was placed roughly in the brackets of large fast creatures like the Karnasaur, but the unit was also around the size of a Dread Saurian. We have heard your thoughts on the unit's performance in its release and concluded that the Frost Worm concept role in performance bracket was unworkable at its current size. This is a, a third hotfix uh, since uh, the Thrones of Delay update. Size is an important balancing factor for our entity level simulations, generally speaking, being larger exposes you to more potential attackers at the same time. Owing to a larger attackable surface area, and so particularly large monsters must be paired with massive health pools, powerful defense layers, or dangerous abilities to survive. The Frost Worm was a mid tier monster stuck in the body of a top end supremacy monster. Our uh, top end supremacy monster. My PB goes hard when I read uh, such words. Our reduction, our, uh, reduction instead scales it similarly to a Carnosaur, compacting its stats into a less vulnerable package. I haven't even seen uh, uh, this unit because I, I, I can't, uh, I don't want to play Kislev, man. The, the moment I see uh, Kislev, Erengrad, and Praga 10 slots, I die inside. Hopefully, uh, they see reason in the future and they make those cities 12 slots. Additionally, we're making the following stat changes to Frost Worm. Give the unit a spin and tell us what you think. They gave it 30 more armor and gave it 25 until large. They also lower its cleave. Looks like a unit uh, to harass cavalry or chariots. This is the chariot bully. 
But then it fills all settlements, uh, got Kislev in the Wood Elf settlements. Kislev, that is a Kislev Scaven Blight. What the hell am I saying? Scaven Blight. It's, it's, it's uh, uh, beyond me that they haven't made Kislev adding on the Prag 12 slots, considering Scaven Blight is still slots. Kisla, Prague, and Erengard must be 12 slots, it's like this common sense. They, they literally uh, uh, should make uh, uh, them 12 slots and every single city capital in the game 10 slot. At, so at some point I think this is gonna happen. Every province capital will be a 10 slot and they'll make the, the Kisla great cities 12 slot. Hopefully they're not just copium here. General fixes. What do we have here? Uh, fix Monster Group localization, not taking particularly on unit selections and other response. Chosen the gods and all to get good stuff. Fix channel magic always resulting uh, in a loss of wins of magic. They say the house always wins, but we are here to make that statement a little less absolute. <sighs> channel magic, man. It's like what a waste of mouse click and your time. Correct a collision issue with the thunder barge that was causing most projectiles to face through the balloon. Fix an issue where certain uh, plex symbols would disappear, become unavailable when playing as fast as the Lich Lord. Fix an issue where Chaos Lords of Nurgle would not ascend to Demon Princes when playing as Nurgle factions. Fix an issue where Chaos Lords of Nurgle would not gain a trade percent to Demon Princes. Pestigors uh, now have zero current cost for Beastmen. Adjusted Dwarf a Grape Shot to be in line with Imperial Grape Shot. Curtailing excessive shockwave radius around each projectile. So yeah, it was uh, it was crazy uh, physics on it. The dwarf dragon slayer has found his unique access stashed away under 2,000 dead goblins and stopped stealing clothes from the doomsakers. No wonder he's a slayer. Steam tanks with hell blasters no longer benefit from hell blaster upgrades in the April Gunner School. Units are not intended to double dip in multiple categories. Well, that sounds uh, sounds OP. They double dip. I was, I was thinking it would double dip, but uh, they'll de fix it. Fix the effects provided by the Meow, uh, Meow Ying quest item set. Was it the Slayer King Axe model? Yeah, it, that, it did seem like uh, it was getting uh, a really big one. It seemed off when it was using it in one hand. Bowser Geld's unique skill will the Patriarch now correctly increase the Battle of Wizard recruit rank. Fix Chaos Source of Lords and Heroes missing certain marks of Chaos upgrades. Fix the gun and the school upgrade ballistics plating not functioning. Reverted oversight causing final limitation to deal about a quarter of uh, the intended uh, damage when not overcast. Fix the Nusmith's uh, skill uh, learned intuition having Lord's army scope instead of a hero's army scope. Fix an issue where some mounts could uh, be stolen post bell. Uh, sorry, Biblos. Fix an issue that caused the Rod Beast to be available to all players, regardless of ownership. Consider the moldy rotting toast taster. Fix an enforcement pop opening whenever uh, the list of enforcement updates. The Righteous Fury skill shared by the War Priest and Arch Electros now provides different effects. So, Arch Lectors, they increase the damage for the Flagellants, but uh, for the Warrior Priests, uh, they remove the damage to the Flagellants. So, like the Flagellants are uh, any, any, any good, really. Reduce the number of units for the Cold Wild Ember College ability from 3 to 1. The Beacon of uh, Dawn Landmark now generates Lanesh Corruption for Marathi and the Favor Corruption for all Demon and Warrior of Chaos factions instead of always granting undivided corruption. Kate fix Dragon Emperor's Rod. Uh, button notification uh, still showing after the action has been performed. Fix. Flesh Hounds of Corn were playing the wrong vocalization tags, resulting in vocalizations cutting out. Fixed.
Quick companion conversational uh, voice order being able to trigger when multiple panels are open and one of them closes and also stop the Lord Hero panel appears when selecting a Lord Hero in campaign of blocking conversational voice over. What? Fixed an issue where Jara Bombers were still being handled as single entities on the campaign causing health inconsistencies. So yeah, that was a bug. Now they are, should probably uh, heal after a bell. Holy shit, man! That is a. Uh, is it me or is is this? My, this is probably the largest hotfix update, probably since the days of the Rome 2 fuckups, where they were literally releasing hotfix every week. Fix an issue with the Lord Magister unit uh, card scores or uh, being tinted the wrong color depending on your faction. Fix an issue where unique hearts and settlements all of Kisla weren't using the hearts and battle map when attacked. Fix an issue where certain event feed notification had a chance to cause a crash. Fix the ultimate in the Ganesh technology uh, tree for Oglo with the horrible straight displaying the wrong effects. Fix the e an issue where Kalida's uh, frontend poison attack uh, benefit uh, would simply state phase name. When Howard over, not very helpful, Kalida. Imagine uh, we had fi hot fix like this every week. Game probably needs it for a couple of months. Gate uh, mass no longer misplaces his sword and shield when toggled into melee mode. I declare collision impact sounds for land ship and steam tank. Where uh, an effect uh, applied only to flames or exo uh, and exalt flames of Zinch and sometimes change brings now also applies to change brings and burning chairs of Zinch as well. Fix the porthole and dragon units being too zoomed in. Fix an issue where mousing over spell uh, lore selections and custom bell menu will display the wrong text. Reduce clipping of the Chaos Lord of Nurgle's arm and shield. Minor seven are fixed. Now receiving blood properly. Fix some weapons that were appearing too blurred with uh, TA on. Fix the gate master and all hero of Zinch heroes having the wrong mentor skill. Beast and Rewards of Dread will now always maintain the same original order instead of changing order based on the cost. This is to avoid an issue where sometimes the rewards will go on a third line instead of maintaining two. When playing a battle in multiplayer, battle speed selected by the other players will now be highlighted. Fix an issue with Confederate Lords that had a loyalty rating Dark Elves Cavern would immediately drop to zero loyalty and rebel if Confederate while the left Lord was in the pool or wounded. There is even battle balancing, what the hell? Uh, fix an issue where the Huntsman General Experience Hunter skill was giving regular Empire Archers upgraded cross of bolts from crossmen instead of regular instead of upgraded arrows. Must be a, a new skill. Oh my god. Have you seen that shit? Holy shit. Added modifier premium to buildings that provide factional resources such as old gold. Mother Stankia fixers showing in pre battle when enforcing an ally instead of blessings. Individual entities will no longer attack while the unit is routing. This was particularly uh, pronounced uh, with Catherine on her sled. Fix a uh, placeholder army ability showing multiplayer if one player takes control of demon army spawn for Malachi's adventures. Yeah, fix some abilities and attributes not being grouped together in the expanded view of the uniformation panel. Fix work nation buttons sometimes become active after quest battle even uh, when having no allies. Fix uh, mount icon in item set tooltip showing as weapon instead of correct icon. Made Grom's recipe UI top bar behave like it did in Warhammer 2 where it opens the panel when clicked. Fix the uh, rare crash caused by a lord gaining a mount while the army contains 21 units. A rare occurrence itself caused by armies which have uh, lost their lord without replacing them yet recruiting uh, up to fill all 20 slots with units before replacement returns. Fix some units in front and the load selection not showing in the correct order. Pick selecting the show only equipped uh, item checkbox in magic item panel and then switching to ancillary tab causing the ancillary tab to not filter out equipped items. Yeah, that, was a, that was an annoying one. Uh, 
Add little motivation icon and tooltip to the Lema faction element. It's easier to tell the relation with the faction from the Lema, especially used for the Lema to give the fanatic relation. Added stricter controls on rebel faction to prevent them generating invalid characters that can cause further issues. Fix scales dwarf technology notification appearing after all technologies have been researched. Fix Sky the Slaughterer uh, Fix Scrag the Slaughterer has matched combat uh, animation that leaves enemy body on the battlefield. Uh, fixed vampire cost raise their mark and not having a tooltip when attached to a settlement. Fix uh, visions of the old one's unit detail tooltip appearing in an odd location and was causing parts of it to go out of screen. Fix corruption preview for agents entering a region not showing increased values of technologies. Battle balance in a hotfix. Yeah, this man the recruitment costs them, uh, that makes no sense. What is this? Ooh. Ooh shit, look at this. Chaos Fury is actually might be usable now with the uh, proper leadership. So Chaos Fury is uh, got more entities now. More uh, uh morale, armor and mass. Yeah, uh, looks like maybe uh, maybe harvest now. Malakai has uh, had his missile uh, weapon adjusted from a triple shot scatter gun to a triple shot rifle in order to maintain consistency with his lore. Thunder barge. They lowered the health on the Thunder Barge by 1500. Lowered its melee defense by 6. Lowered its armor by 30. Projectile penetration resistance 4 to 20 times 2, whatever that means. Looks like uh, might be multiple stuff. Flame cannons uh, just got like 40 more range. It's like it's almost like uh, this was a fuck up. Two hundred uh, definitely seemed off. Jar bombers got a hell buff. Uh, regular gyrocopters uh, got a nice buff. More health, uh, more damage, and uh, they don't have a minimum range anymore. So, gyro bombers and gyrocopters got a buff. Hochland Rogel rifles have increased in upkeep cost. No, no iron sides went down. It looks like uh, somebody do some uh, complex uh, calculations here. They have uh, figured out that uh, a 5% uh, uh, decrease to, to no iron side was required, a 5% increase to the Hochland Long Rifles are required. Probably adjusting uh, adjusting it to the uh, basic room cost.
The Furious might actually be nice now. They were pretty shit because of the revival uh, leadership before. Toad Dragon uh, lost 10 leadership. Not a really big deal. Uh, it's cheaper now and it has uh, it can turn faster. So big change to the Furies. Chaos, Source Lord or Nurgle dead lost uh, almost 500 health. Some adjustment to the build as well. Coldwing has one use. Hurricane of Death. This Walker Barrage has 10 spread. That's zero spread. How the hell would it look like having a zero spread? They made Soul Stealer more expensive. They nerfed Fed Bayuna by 2 seconds. That's actually a, a nerf. That's 10% damage. This is nothing really, but this, I don't like this. I just made it more, exp more expensive. Traitor King uh, lost damage. Dwellers Below. Did they finally fix Dwellers Below? She's been broken for years. Dwellers Below does uh, more damage from Suspicious 1 to Suspicious 4. Branch damage removed. Missing stats though. Effect duration 1 to 5. Starting radius 5 to 20. As well as below when its upgrade uh, performance was too volatile after a previous round of changes, so we are uh, elected to return its damage application to a more standard vortex arrangement, but uh, leave the new randomized flaming branch as a parting force to, uh, for spectacle. Arm piercing vortex, as uh, well as below actually now has more damage when overcast. Well, it's below uh, uh, was extremely up. It was like too extreme. It was one of the strongest builds in the game. Considering that slow uh, at the same time. What is that coruscating blast again? Isn't that the uh, Elspeth's uh, bread? Carmine's Dragon Breath. This looks like Spirit uh, of Groom got buffed again. Thunderburn does more damage now. Now we get one that's regular damage. We don't have death. I haven't even noticed uh, this thing doing anything. Maybe it's buffed now. Oh, well, looks like a really big hotfix patch. It's uh, the largest one yet in Warhammer uh, from the looks of it. Anyways, we are uh, starting a special campaign tonight. It was one of the uh, goals. Hopefully we get murdered. Or otherwise we'll be grinding for a while. We're doing uh, Sylvania starting as Vlad. 
and this is gonna be this is total war style campaign so we're declaring war on everybody there will be no raise there this campaign and as uh, usual with the digital war style campaigns uh, the, uh, the auto resolve house rule is not active so we can auto resolve uh, the, uh, whatever however we want It's kind of unusual doing Vlad with the war with everybody, because Vlad is, uh, has diplomatic uh, capabilities. But uh, Vlad will speak for this. We did a Kal one uh, where we fought everybody. And now we're doing Vlad. We'll see how it is on the Vampire side of things. It's going to be very slow due to no race dead. And, uh, you know, I'm rooting for the AI to murder us. Blood has a quite nice starting army. Three Graveguard, Blood Knights, Wargeists. Nice amount of red stuff. Faction effect is to start with one Blood Kiss. Unique building cast the rank for vampires. All armies have more movement range. And starts with Isabella as a legendary hero immediately. Lower effect uh, when in the same army as Isabella gets a 30% higher healing cap. All units of Blood's army also get Vanguard. Yeah. The true book. King of Darkness. King of Darkness, let's go. Yeah, I'm, I'm secretly hoping we get murdered here so uh, we can say we lost a Warhammer 3 campaign and uh, we don't have to grind this one for uh, for a while. Don't mind grinding it, but I would, uh, you know, feel strong man if AI actually uh, does something. Eruffs. The world will drown in blood. Nice and short. The world will drown in blood. Also, Batori he gets ward save, some protection from heroes, buffs the replacement army, all characters can recover faster, and uh, gets an ability that can uh, restore a uh, character. So, actually, pretty poor heal. I still haven't fixed this bug with the uh, with duplication on the on the on the characters. It's supposed to be only three uh, here and it's doubled. It's the same bug with the uh, with the uh, multiple uh, uh, things, not just with her. It buffs uh, uh, vampires in uh, in the army. Ten attack, ten defense. Pretty solid. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, good reason enough to uh, use extra vampires if you want. How's the best way to ensure uh, with the race dead drops? Add all the uh, 160 uh, m uh, entity uh, units and uh, make sure they all die before you win the battle. You have to be 40 units uh, in the main army on both sides as well. That's cool. Uh, she has a legendary hero as a, a siege attacker as well. Uh, 
this will be a high pressure to pain. The location is solid for it though. That's not a uh, good enough score. Yeah, there's a minimal amount of units required on both sides for the race dead to trigger. Welcome, King. You must want some. Absolutely not. Go on then. Speak your way. I refuse. Come then, messenger. No way. How dare you darken my hall, Oskola. Oskola. No way. Get my axe. Nay. My hand hovers. I don't agree. Do not waste my time. No. You are not welcome in. No. You go and worry about it. Dragon Hall has 17 new guards. Look at the guards. That's a really crazy guy. This is a crazy guards on, on tier one. How the fuck they still haven't fixed this bug, man? It's been bugged for a while. Take me for a was looks like there's an army in Zuber. It's a it's oversight uh, with the objectives mods uh, strange here. Lord of the night. Speak. Who wishes the red? He's lying. The world will be ours. By all means. Who knows if there are any uh, any uh, secret changes that happen? Uh, we're not gonna go over everything, but we'll uh, moss over things and see if uh, something was changed. Diviner. There's a 25 line of sight uh, there. Stealing a magic item mechanic is uh, feels like it's a pointless mechanic. Especially when it's a 50% of magic item drop chance. I mean, you never know. Temple of Dragon of Zubar looks like one of our most fortified cities here for Turtling. Well, gold still has no flavor. It's literally just uh, boring income, missing like uh, three, four rows text. One day, shuttle this will do something. I 
on cast and uh, core hole is still boring. Me of the mausoleum of the Met Count uh, has lower kill capacity of rampers than used to have. Was always plus one. The best building uh, uh, for a start uh, is the armory. Still haven't fixed the armory either. They have forgot to put plus white white king here because capacity on tier four. I need to patch the, uh, the gold mines with several factions and not gold idols to everybody. Yes! I don't think they're gonna attack Dragonhoff. Oh my god! Have you seen that? Hey, Shamdog! Holy shit! What the Thank hell? you very much. Ding, selping Friday out hell. Look at this AJK leeching here. and destruction. Vanguard on the entire oh army. God. Have you seen that shit? Holy shit! What the hell? Hungry for blood! Vampire! All shall bow before me! Oh my god! Have you seen that shit? Holy shit! Damn. Bow before me. Oh my God. Have you seen that shit? Holy shit. It's them. Have a revolver. Swiftly. Haven't seen a while. God damn, look at that. Oh, 
God's nuts! By bad hell! No one can stop me! Darkness comes! Isabella von Karstein! Remember, this is called six. I remember. God damn bets came back. Vigeant Plucker Pendant game? What the fuck, man? Where's my Arm of Destiny? Where's my Black Perry up? Where's my Forbidden Road? What is this shit? Let's return captives for some dark magic. Pigeon Plucker Pen and the uh, debuffs uh, flyers. Sort of bad. Vlad von Karstein. Vlad von Karstein. Oh, Diviner. 50 magic item drop chance. All the loot. All of it. This is gonna be a long campaign, man. We gotta divine some shit. I'm pretty sure it's maxed right now. Without her killing any scouting. If we get an item guaranteed every fight now, base is 4%, but it's lower than Legend difficulty, so it could be God damn, man. Listen to all these sounds playing the vampires. Incredible stuff. The Von Karstein. Blood! This thing uh, taking a uh, thousand damage from the zombies. Blood von Karstein. Death and destruction. You dare? Play the music of like Psycho. My brother and his friend, when they play Darkest Dungeon in the kitchen, they uh, have the, uh, uh, some. I don't know what to call that music, man. It's like. I guess. 
you know, the... Uh, I don't know what they call it, man. Like... Uh, those... Uh, drag addicts in disco listen to. When they play Dark Dungeon. Can you believe that shit? I don't know, man. I don't know. Every time I enter the kitchen, I say, "Kakva to drogerska muzika." It's like, uh, it's a style of music, you guys have uh, seen Blade? And that Blade sound that starts playing? It's uh, like that, but worse. And it's the same thing, just playing for like 20 minutes. Gambler's Armor. So we are two, uh, two for two. The von Karstein. Hmm. Elich old confirmed. What the fuck, man? I don't do drugs and don't listen to music like that. I think the only uh, the only people who are on drugs uh, could enjoy music like that. Champion of the dark. They're playing Darkest Dungeon and they're not uh, listening to in-game music or the, uh, the narrator. Can you imagine that shit? Exactly. Why haven't played Diddy then? They like the... The atmosphere of the game is uh, the best thing about the game. Without the sound, it's like not even why they play the game. Tunnel Warden Crappy still exists. Hmm, the only host is the strongest thing uh, uh, on this skill tree by far. By far. Auto, Auto Supremus is pretty nice because it stacks with the other arms. Vlad von what the fuck is it do with the old people, man? It's the same uh, thing, just uh, going. Uh, it's like. 
It's like things banging uh, in the same way for 20 minutes. Like, what the hell, man? And, uh, this just make no sense. This is this is literally the drug uh, uh, music for people to do drugs. I guarantee you. I listen to music every day for two hours, all kinds. Unstoppable. I'm uh, explaining it poorly, but uh, if you heard it, you, uh, you would have know what I'm talking about. What is uh, going on here with uh, with this? This looks like uh, some uh, some weird uh, new interface bug. Did they hit a the nerve there, Arch Magnets? Looks like it. Hey, Marky. The... Units are uh, damaged, but it says they're full health. The point was not this, the point was they were uh, listening uh, to out of the game music while playing Darkest Dungeon. That was the point. And uh, the, uh, the sounds of Darkest Dungeon is, uh, is literally half the game. It's not just the music, it's the narrator and uh, and everything. Makes me wonder uh, what they're trying to do with this. Okay, I'm, I'm, uh, just go away, Arch Magnus, man. You have no idea what I'm talking about. King of darkness, the world will drown in blood. I think this one is worth building only for a, one more vampire. I'm 
One more vampire on uh, uh, limited slots. How long this campaign will be with no raise it allowed? Uh, who knows? Who knows? The mother comes with Thunder Budge. Put me out of my misery. Yes. I'm paying eighty eight, uh, uh, eighty eight up for this crap. Well, this is going to be one of those campaigns that, uh, that uh, really doesn't happen because uh, this faction recruitment is uh, is pretty poor. You literally just do everything with raised dead. But uh, for once, we have no raised dead. These guys could be useful, but uh, I'm gonna get uh, the ancient armor of the Black Knights. I can hit him. We get another kiss and we get technology and uh, we might get a early second lord. Bench tier 4 unit as well? Yeah, same with the White King, still tier 4 unit. They haven't uh, added the uh, White King capacity tier 2 or tier 3. I'm going for, uh, for a Blood Kiss because uh, this faction starts with additional Blood Kiss, so we get 3 Blood Kisses uh, to unlock an early uh, research buff. This might get really ugly if uh, everybody comes here, but the air has been really passive since bench uh, 4.0. So, who knows what's gonna happen. When you're playing order, they, they seem to ignore you for most part, but uh, uh, with a faction like this, you're dealing with way more powerful enemies. Because the order is way more powerful than the evil guys, the evil guys are shit. And uh, they might might be able to do it. We had uh, three out of three here. Three, uh, two out of two. Two out of two. Two battles, two items. I think uh, with the diviner and uh, scouting, uh, we guaranteed to get items every fight. Okay, let's check. And we're with everybody. Let us the mark. The Empire. Do not waste my time. I refuse. This campaign, uh, probably the worst thing is. Uh, uh, the worst thing is meeting High Elves. High Elves are by far the, the, the most powerful enemy for the for Vampire Counts. But since uh, they don't have additional military, how powerful are they? Probably gonna be staying between Kessel Tremhoff and Zubar for a, re uh, a while. This type of campaigns, we gotta destroy uh, one faction at a time, and as we uh, increase in military, we destroy, uh, 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 we, we get to expand more. What happens if you lose? We can play the next campaign. No restarts. I'm gonna go for long victory.
We are at war with uh, five level factions, so I wonder if there's gonna be a third draw here. Cease. Got uh, Isabella for the two for magic. This one as well. some black periods. It's been nerfed uh, a while ago, but uh, still a rip off item. I am unstoppable. I need the first. King of Darkness. The world will be mine. No raise dead on. This is a uh, corner area. Him says Pirik Victory. Let's see if we get a Pirik Victory. Oh my god. Have you seen that shit? Holy shit. How much have you missed? Uh, we haven't really missed much. I've been going over the patch notes. It's actually a really big uh, hotfix. It's gonna take a lot more to, for the fix the AI. People need to complain way, way, way more for for them to take a uh, look at the campaign AI. I don't they, I don't think they even consider uh, uh, the set of current legendary as a, as a problem. It has been passive uh, for a while now. Even the plebs are complaining about it. More people need to complain about the the, uh, the campaign AI for them to uh, do something about it. Well, yeah, it was passive since the Immortal Empress was released, but uh, since Pench uh, 4.0, they made it way worse. No one can stop me. Darkness reigns. Attack! Your time has come!
Easy. Most damage this unit happens when they land. They're like uh, still like currently attacked, but to be uh, more effective. See a bunch of graveyard uh, got uh, knocked on the wall. Blood Knight. Uh, this is uh, the gate bug. This happened. AI gives input to units outside the wall if the doors are closed. It's a really broken behavior. Green Hammer right now. Green Hammer is only uh, only on a uh, sellout, Agnieta. I think we have it at uh, 15 or 500 euro for one right now. Also still uh, messed up here. They make damage on contact, but uh, once they get close, they no more damage. So you gotta disengage and engage again. I'm begging for a vortex here. Actually, getting uh, pretty messed up by uh, the, the person towers. Come on, has the only this one is the only one has the range here. You can only see the range of the towers anymore, you can only see the range of the tower solution. Shall bow before me. 
shall perish. He's the only way to get a necromancer in the melee while they're attacking me to tell one of your guys. And he still doesn't care that much about uh, supporting this. Vargas uh, went from the hmm. that was a mega leadership drop. Bed in this crowd in such a hell. Hey, bro. Well, we have four targets uh, that uh, need of healing. Uh, four, of course. But you rarely need four anymore. It's usually one or two guys. So it's single battle or faster cooldown, more curse of the uptime. Necromancer was close to that crowd, this would have taken a really long time. That's the curse uh, master of the dead, but uh, it's not quoted to use it. He just needs to stand, uh, stand here, like like here, then I have to go in the mala. As a uh, what we call necromancer behavior, is a really bad character behavior of the AI. Necromancer is not the only one that has this behavior, as many, many characters have this behavior, like. Troll Hag of the green skins does the same and it's a melee combatant. Lady. What 
the Isabella and Vlad have this Master Begallion ability that lowers uh, a unit attack by 40, it's really big. It has 44 second duration, it's uh, that's quite a bit as well. The von Karstein's march! Somehow those ghouls have killed a half a unit of uh, Graveguard. Causing the door to open the looper is the, the AI is constantly giving inputs. And the, then the doors open, even the unit is not moving. Three items from three bells. The all uh, I mean, one is solid uh, to our crop. Only in hostel, uh, make our infantry uh, has high attack and defense. His lady will be casting heals uh, for now. Uh, she's a pretty good melee combat as well. Creep ghoul, Sam. We can actually get a creep ghoul here, huh? Is Hunger not working on them yet? Uh, no, not really. Not right now. We have a character heal item here. At some point, yeah, but there's more important things to get. I think two ghouls is fine. King Look at this boys, we're recruiting Vampire Counts. The Dragon of the Tier 3. All shall know me and tremble. We got six uh, characters and I don't like any of them. And they don't, even, they don't even have the worst traits. I guess they have one of the worst traits. Give it spirit leech, I don't care about minus miss cost. <laughs> Dealing with Draka is actually really a big problem because she has raised dead. It makes it one of the most dangerous things to keep alive. The von yeah, imagine uh, building this as your only uh, construction slot. You can build uh, 250 income. Or uh, even higher income with the, this if you have trade. We were doing patch notes uh, there, bro. That was a early distraction as well with some uh, 
digressing as well. Uh, what's the uh, diploma which requires P3? What was the result, top manager? I'm distracted. Uh, hot fix, uh, yeah, it was like, uh, looked like almost like a patch, it's like bigger, hot, biggest hot fix so far. Decisive, huh? What are the biggest changes from what I've seen? Uh, Age of Reckoning uh, changes and uh, Dwellers Below Nerf. Actually, buffs the returns to delay, but uh, it was uh, even more effective than before, so they nerfed it now. More like uh, reworked it, but uh, it looks like a big nerf. This one, so you can actually see neutral factions. Looks like they removed a, a part of the damage from it, but increase the base damage, whatever that means. Do not mistake me for a fool. Oh my god. Have you seen that shit? of the dark. Holy shit. What the hell? There's Lord of the Dead. Bring them death! Well, uh, there's a lot of uh, things that have under the hood stats that don't show, like, for example, speed here has uh, several uh, several things to it, but you only see 31 here. When you mouse over it, uh, it just tells you this how fast the unit moves, but it's more like, uh, you know, like this, as uh, stats under the stats, which you don't see. Uh, our units behind the armor. Hungry for blood. Kneel before your master. Very well. I will. Yes. I understand. Isabella von Karstein. Your desire. Isabella von Karstein. Blood dance. Wakey, eggs and bacon. Oh, six five leaves for undead is, is plenty. I got frenzy and anti large uh, uh, 
compañero. Their experience and skills uh, give them way more attack. There's also technology. They actually get uh, quite a bit of attack for this type of chaotic. Since the the cavalry rework, they've been doing more damage than ever. This world is mine. It is done. Give us blood. With haste. Swiftly. With haste. Swiftly. With haste. on we are immortal blood nights blood is coached with haste swiftly with haste swiftly with haste! Swiftly! With haste! Swiftly! They shall bleed! With haste! Swiftly! With haste! They're not getting drunk by that one guy. Vampire! Bleed them! All shall bow before me! The one guy would have gotten all the killed. These two guys, uh, that would have been just in the game. Swiftly! Fast. With haste! Swiftly! With haste! Blood von Karstein! End them! Blood knights! Mortals quail! There isn't anything I killed because he was triggering hunger. Yeah. One guy being melee, the entire unit was getting hunger. Let's 
dragons. Blood knights. Swiftly. What do you want? Master of the undead. Blood knights. We must have blood. Strike them. I am immortal. I want the chances we can actually kill Draika before somebody bothers us too much in Sylvania, because I feel like Draika is going to be a big headache to keep alive. We can get uh, troops that fast, because of Nor is dead, so we might get a second army with the extra troops uh, slower. Gleaming Pen, I guess it becomes like an item. That's an, uh, that's an answer, that's another magic item. But again, uh, I guess, I guess uh, the, the banners count as item drop. Even if they're Anslers. Zombie skeleton script goals grave guard and blood's arm gets additional air attack and a defense. Hunger for dialogue from bats, AP for dialogue from bats. A two points of this one. This one is uh, pretty good for uh, Vargulfs, Vargas, and Terror Guests. Eight attack. Eight leadership also helps on the Terror Guests and the Vargulf. I mean, all of them, really. Core Blood gives additional Vampire. Hero action cost minus 3%, 3 doesn't say uh, where or if it's a region, province, or faction wide. I assume it's just faction wide. All characters have a lot of cool and Blair Feud and Bloodlust. And this arm will get a better vigor. Storm of Night with, uh, you know, same damage as any of these uh, <laughs> abilities. I guess a couple of uh, really good buffs for the Vargos, Vargas, and Terror Geists. And uh, should be uh, pretty nice now. This one in the barracks too. Maybe I'm. Uh, uh, maybe I should be recruiting a second army already this time, but uh, not the entire treasury for this. No, I will not shame my clan. Looks like this guy started raiding while the other guys are recruiting. So immediate uh, harassment from Zubar, and uh, the strongest enemy we have on the border uh, is Draika and Ungrim. Probably Azog after that.
I am Vlad. I don't care about the regular cops card. It was unholy loadstone, sure. The regular uh, seems like redundant. To even exist. So why did we not get a blood kiss? Why did we not get a blood kiss? Oh, the guy was inside Cast Trempelhof. Zelig guy. Zelig, uh, we, uh, he was in Kester Temho, we didn't get it. It looks like a bug. They dropped uh, player focus with the patch 4.0. Oh, we got a cloth kiss, I, uh, we didn't get the technology yet. My bad, my bad. I want to wear your skin so badly, state. I'm uh, uh, jet lag today. My schedule, sleeping schedule is upside down. We're gonna probably need a couple of days to recover. That's why I don't tolerate uh, any any uh, nonsense in chat today. The von Karstein. I had like uh, seven coffees two days ago, and the last two days almost nothing. I'm on the edge. King of Darkness. This is the only uh, chance the AI will get. Yeah. This is like, if they don't kill us here, uh, they will never have, right? Big arm. Why am I looking forward uh, to uh, losing to the AIs? Like, this never happens, right? Oh boy, let's see. Smart thing to do would be to get the Necker, because it's going to be a long campaign. Usually for Vlad, uh, strategy, uh, Lamian bloodlines, where to go. To enjoy the game, there needs to be a chance to lose. Uh, sure, sure, if you play on the highest difficulty, sure. Uh, Doski, we always play on the highest difficulty. Uh, no mods. This is on legendary, very hard Iron Man. The stronger one is uh, one cast, in my opinion, uh, in combat. 
But faction effects, uh, most of them are good. I mean, it uh, does work kill already, right? Character experience is hot. Unique experience game per 10 plus 100 all arms they haven't patched that one. The, the, the recent uh, new DLCs, they've shown that 100 is not enough. I mean, they haven't fixed uh, a bunch of this, including the post battle option to kill captives. Meanwhile, uh, the, the latest effect they added to the game is 300. Three six twelve. What? I think uh, uh, the best thing is to, to get the Necrack for being dark cards to get the upkeep production. The previous two are crazy as well. But it's gonna delay uh, any uh, bloodlines for a while. We gotta stick using random lords. This was a regular lot campaign. I would go for uh, for Lamian. But uh, we gotta go for the best faction effects here. The world will drown. Aggressive Necrarch. the charge bonus was attack. Hunger is the regeneration melee, Vesh Johnson. I know it's pretty cool to get on a, on a Necra uh, Master of Black Arts. Then you get uh, two Spirit Leech. This, uh, this random traits on the bloodlines uh, is like, so bad for the game. Just boring. Vlad von Karstein. Swifter than death. Uh, no, 
No, hunger cannot uh, revive that models now. That's a special, uh, special uh, version of a Jensen. Like horrible regeneration or uh, tomb blade. You start with a bell as well, get more item from start. Yes, it's it's real powerful. The von Karstein. King of Darkness. Cower before me. Man, Draka scares me right now. I shall enslave the world. He's a really powerful mechanic to work with units. I am going. Darkness comes. Uh, buildings are really cheap uh, for this faction. Used to be uh, some of the most expensive buildings. The Black Knights are excellent in the early game, and the White King is sold. Uh, this campaign will reward everybody. It's one of those campaigns. We could try to get the uh, Ashen up, but I think they're gonna have tier 3 for us. We got uh, Prima War, no race dead. We had a Prima War with Carl not so long ago. And I had to go for a Vlad to just see how it's gonna be on the other side of things. Do you take me for a Wazak? They will serve. Fool! Campaign wise, is the same thing, Disco. I, uh, th th this campaign will show us how aggressive they are. But the resource and aggressiveness wise, uh, it's been the same since patch 4.0. here a couple of times ago with uh, a couple of skills going here but I would have just crushed the economy to get a temporary advantage here because the moment they will get there they get attacked by the outland because you can't keep expanding the border champion of the dark late nights in two turns soon I'll be all powerful I am invincible. We get Drakkar right opposition, but uh, unless we go for our settlement, uh, this will not do. We uh, interrupt the, her usual uh, stuff because we declared war. There's too much uh, experience uh, uh, missed here if Vlad reinforces, though, so he has to do a main attack. Bring me flesh to craft. Shuffle this way. Unstoppable! Shed their blood!
Armor first. Yes. Hungry for blood. Can uh, send ghouls around. They've envisioned uh, players attacking uh, minor settlements uh, from multiple sides. But the uh, camera is kind of fucked. And it uh, makes no sense in many uh, situations. It just promotes casualties. If you control the city, you can move the combat around the city later. That's a rare situation where it's actually okay, but uh, those situations you rarely don't attack the settlements instead. You just uh, wait for them to make a move and pay them up. They're gonna fix Elven Tower's appearance. Apparently, there's been a mod that uh, fixed all this a while ago. Kudos. I guess CA is not that far behind. Maybe a couple more updates.
shall perish. Blood magic. Some pain, I've been pretty much just out of it. I got it. Take a while to uh, come up towards the end. be able to mess up this unit, but I think they're gonna take too much care of this. In this current shape. Oh, 
Feist! Isabella von Kastein! What do you want? This one's. The twelve hundred mass. They all have come past the mass. No one can stop me. We surpass Nagash. I need blood. That guy must be more hell. Or all damage went dead end, he was not probably not even in the, in the front there. I've seen uh, Source McKill a Sturzman in charge, which uh, should be possible. Sometimes, uh, Mulpa is supposed to get hit at that point, but because you're zoomed out or whatever, all damage goes to that one end. Cleaning banner for leadership penalty. It was not horrible. It's still a pretty basic. Everything dies. So far, we got an items uh, every time. Blood von Karstein, you dare. I can only have one over this guy. They will serve. Seventeen units. Bow before me. The drive's a little bit too the much von for us. Karstein. Diviner, uh, yeah. But no panel don't make no sense to me. Uh, we can have, we can win of that la later. But 
Uh, sometimes you want to cast two devastating spells instead of support. Raka is the uh, by far the most dangerous with elf faction. She occupies Waldenhof. There goes our momentum here. Yes. There goes our momentum. Now we gotta chill. Oh my god. Have you seen that shit? Holy shit. What the hell? I knew the way. Destroying Draika is really important, but oh, I'm hoping somebody else kills her. She's, uh, she's the, mo the, the craziest thing in the early game here. Just because there is dead. She also gets uh, incredibly powerful units against us uh, very early. Unstoppable. But we could uh, gang up on her with multiple arms and ultras all. Break out! Darkness comes. Black knights in two turns. Mine is good, but uh, we're gonna start losing settlement soon. Because the moment we leave this area within a uh, one turn range, uh, everybody's gonna move in. So we gotta just turtle around these cities and we can get another army. They can hold this place while the blood kills uh, one faction at a time. You better give me whatever I want! No way! Regiments renowned start on rank ten. Bats and wolves gather. Let's have option for extra garrison. Well, Beckel is a needling. The inhabitants of your empire tire of the constant threat of war on their doorstep. Due to the uncertainty calling brings, Grohl has taken a sudden nosedive. How is a minus 10 a nosedive? It's not even a bump in the road. A quest has been issued, mighty lord. A great adventure beckons. Be wary though, for while the potential rewards are great, so too are the perils. That's a that's a powerful uh, powerful weapon. Von Kasti. 
Harstein. Where do you see a second E there? Creature. I will not obey. That's the same like uh, you talk to a minor uh, Dark Elf faction on the left, they call you Druki. Minor faction, uh, Dark Elf faction on the right, they, they call you Druchi. Back to the Seleucids or Seleucids, right? Depending uh, from which region uh, the narrator is. Onward. And Karakal is wrecked died. So... These guys have recruited quite a bit, but they haven't touched this place yet. Didn't just get a bottle of alcohol, did I? No, it's just water. Just plain water. Maybe we get a bottle of alcohol next month. Alcohol and Akai? No, I want to complete Nakai uh, without alcohol. That's, a, that's a, like a challenge. If we roll Katep, uh, I'll probably uh, save alcohol for that. I don't think I can play Katep without alcohol. I thirst. We're just milking here right now for the experience and growth. So gonna happen. I can do an Akai without alcohol. Just you watch. Darkness comes. Black Knight's next turn. Bow. You dare. All shall perish. Drak is waiting for us at the edge. Have you guys seen that sneaky deployment outside the city? Bring them death! Retreat us to Soon I'll be all powerful. Shed their blood! Um, it's just during the Nakai campaign, uh, Blood Raven. Yeah. Warbane, another item. Next turn, King of Darkness. I am going if you think it is wise. Can I want to see what she has? Move us in fear. Do not let me get a good balance of power of light. Always double the range on the hex on the blood. That's like third uh, debuff there. Oh, 
What the fuck we pay for our overcast pendulum when we can cast bit of shades? It's like that's like makes no sense to me unless you want to cast boat. They will serve. Fighting for the for the black knights. Another fifteen gold and twenty five income from cities. Twenty percent income from repression buildings. They made the repression building uh really cheap, really really strong. And they kept this on 20%. And 20% of 500 is a lot. It used to be 200. Everybody, but it's what turn six. I think that's possible, uh, mods. I haven't had any alcohol in uh, five months, so I think it's possible there. Daka didn't move. Going to be a cheap date now. What do you mean? Cheap date. You only get to talk because I say not a chance. What is this? Some kind of saying? Clue this? We only feel fruit, feel need food, drinks, and feel good. I think I'm gonna go on a outside with people crazy my nephew having this uh, this thing you are know, celebrating the uh, the end of his elementary school I don't know what's called but I don't know, I have no idea but it's gonna be a bunch of food a bunch of drinks there's gonna be a cake and there's gonna be people out there I'm not going People are good for your grounds, yeah, but I don't I don't like people. People get focused on a thing you just said without uh, with uh, completely missing the point, completely out of uh, context, you know, like Arch Magnus earlier. Imagine that happens in real life. Can just time out for 24 hours. All shall know me and tremble. Darkness comes. Yeah. The spirits agree. Lorekeeper, Weapon Master, Strong. Damn, all the good shit here. Disciplined. Devious. What the fuck, man? Got some good stuff here. Hey, man. Welcome. What's better on a White King? Weapon Master or Strong? Weapon Master grants 8 attack and 35 AP, so you get slightly higher offense. 
But a strong gives you slightly lower offense uh, with 15 armor. 15 armor on a white king does something. White king is kinda a duelist. It has uh, a lot of uh, single target damage potential. But strong seems to be more versatile because uh, additional 15 armor. 15 armor is, uh, does something on the white king. I think uh, if, you, if you choose between strong weapon mastery, you'll always pick strong. But if you had a weapon master and nothing else, uh, I should be really still happy with it. Yeah, uh, strong gives you uh, 41 weapon strength, 26 and uh, 15. It's not as good as weapon master, but it's close. This guy is armored, uh, but uh, another 15 armor does something. So, uh, strong is just better than Web Master. Although, I think the Web Master is still pretty good for him. Look at this. This is supposed to be like an entry, uh, entry hero of the uh, uh, Vampire Counts. Like your, you know, literally, uh, thing you get, uh, you know, for uh, nearly every army. Same like the Necro. But, uh, you get first one to unlock on, on tier 2 building, and then you don't get another one until a tier 4 building. So it's locked on the regular settlements. An entry, uh, here, here. So you can't even get it in a minor settlement, like an Emperor Captain can get you get anywhere or uh, most heroes. This is a big fuck up. This thing being a tier 4 building is a fuck up in itself, it should be tier 3. I guess when they uh, release the Vampire rework. But uh, uh, strong still gives you five attack mirror. And white kings are uh, actually fun, but uh, them being a tier four hero, it's uh, it's they're just forgotten. Necromancer is a tier two. Bench is a tier 4 as well. Vampire is tier 4. Yeah, I need to lower all this by one tier. Honestly, uh, uh, tier 4 and 5 don't exist for this faction. It's a tier 3 faction. Why tier 3 faction? Because you get uh, all the resources and uh, repression tier 3. Everything else on the is dead. This building is also completely outdated as well. It's missing like two effects. This building doesn't do anything. Look at this, 50 income. I did some good changes at the start of the Moral Empire, so the Emperor counts, but uh, half fast as usual. Such a thing is impossible, Lord of the Night. Draika is eyeballing us, so we can't really do anything until she she goes away. You dare. The Blood Knight's damage is fine now, they have a very high charge. They're not tier 5, they're tier 3. If they had a proper recruitment system, Blood Knights would be like tier 4 highest, but like I said, there's nothing tier 5 for uh, 
for this faction. You're not gonna ever recruit blood knights. You're gonna ra raise them. The von Karstein. Darkness comes. King of Darkness. Keep milking this place and uh, hope Draka is not gonna be in the range and get blood knights. Black, black knights. Darkness comes. Move! Bell next turn. I am Vlad. Lord Master, Lord of Vampires, but there's an icon from the Lord of, Be Lord of uh, uh, Beasts. What the fuck? The uh, lore master uh, is, is also has an age well. Cool reduction is nice though. You dare. All shall know me and tremble. Darkness comes. Next turn, uh, this is tier 3. Lucky with the necklace, we got uh, perfection one for the campaign map for the kisses and one for uh, the army. Devourer of light, you dare. This will be fun. Bow before me. I really don't care about the corpse too, because I want to steal items uh, with this magic find. Champion of the dark. Two defense. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of shocked. Fort and uh, uh, Swartz have and haven't been attacked. I've been uh, thinking about this uh, scorn lately. You know, uh, I saw you what you said uh, on the on the on the Discord regarding sieges and heroes and uh, destructive abilities. But I've been thinking uh, about this for a while. Like I'm uh, starting to lose interest in using heroes in the armies. I must uh, pretty much use less heroes in the future in, in my campaigns, especially regular campaigns. One 
one hero in the army seems okay, but the moment you're on the second one, it just takes away some from something from the first one, the Lord. Those makes them also feel less special. Look at this. Uh, we got a good event, but uh, somebody forgot to increase this to six turns. This one is still stuck in Warhammer 1. Do you need fresh troops? You win. I have it. Assault units. Took them forever to do that shit. Uh, it's like I, I don't really care if the faction can have easy heroes or, or not. I just like I'm uh, less and less interested in heroes, uh, at least right now. So how I, I feel, especially with this uh, passive AI. Then go. What the fuck happened here? It looks like uh, Draka must have taken damage from Ostermark. Get on with it. Darkness. You don't even need those looper. Yeah. What? Hard to say where she is. Lord of the dead. King of darkness. I will not betray you. A wise act. Agreed. As you command. The pretty solid arm for a uh, uh, grenade. Bring me flesh to craft. The world will drown in blood. What is this guy, uh, guys I heard about? They're making a new uh, Lord of the Rings movie. I have not seen such a pathetic sight since my father-in-law Otto took his last breath. Is this all that thine empire can muster? What a pitiful age this is. It makes me ponder for the era of worthy foes such as Wilhelm or that wolf knight Kruger. Not this pathetic squabble of mortal men. Yet my sword thirsts, and so it shall be slaked in the blood of living fools that think to challenge the might of von Karstein. Let the slaughter begin! It looked to me like some, some serious cage grab. What the fuck is the deployment? I don't remember this deployment being this bad uh, here. One day they'll patch uh, Warhammer uh, 3 quest battles, copium.
That is about the hunt for Golem with Peter Jackson and the Serkins. Hunt for Golem. What do you mean hunt for Golem? Golem died. He died. Got to destroyed with the ring. Prequel? Oh my god, man. What do you want? Kiss lady. Vampire. Is the event between Hobbit and Lord of the Rings and when Argon was hunting gold for Gandalf? So it's a cash grab after all. It's in the past, Alex. Your hobbits are black, elves are Asian, and the fairest elven lady is a bitch. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Elves are Asian, and uh, there's gonna be some lesbians. I don't mind Asian elves, uh, unless there's, uh, if, especially if there's some uh, same sex uh, relationships. I don't think anybody would mind some uh, some Asian elf lesbians in Lord of the Rings. I don't know, Twitch has uh, felt dead to me ever since they uh, banned the Koreans. A sucker for more content from that universe and initially didn't find uh, it that horrible but as I watch more and more uh, I realized how bad the rings of power was especially uh, the actors that played Galadriel but I'm glad I watched it to the, to the end because of that volcano explosion that was awesome But right now, at least we're getting memes out of it. Well, uh, I think a lot of people watched uh, Ring the Power for uh, for the reason to f figure out who the, who the Sauron was. This is the reason, this is probably the, the reason uh, why most people watch Rings of Power. This is me as well. 
and did uh, create this meme, right? Tell me you didn't do this when you watched it. So this this was my main reason to watch to see who the Sauron was. This guy kind of like uh, was the main contender. I thought that uh, uh, that Eminem was definitely not Sauron. But uh, it was it was a surprise in the end for me. Oh my God! Do we see that shit? This rock is actually doing shit. Do a lot of rubber bending. I want you to get stuck somewhere. Uh, I want him to get stuck in the crowd there with uh, another end. This is just a bunch of rubber bending. And the rockets these days are crazy. They get accuracy and they just melt stuff. I mean, everybody was watching because I was hyped out of all out of all proportion, right? You know, like. Surely the next episode will get good. Surely the next episode will get good copium. The next one is the one. The next one is the one. And then like... Isabella. Mediocre shit. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, look at Fallout. They released everything at once. And it's a huge success. They didn't have any faith in it, I guess. It looks good for the for the future of the or the Fallout because uh, the TV show success. I'm, uh, I'm really glad that uh, the, the show delivered. Man, uh, it's been out over a month now, uh, Looper. What spoilers? Yeah, uh, what they did to NCR kind of surprised me as well. But I guess uh, Bethesda has different plans for uh, for the wasteland. They don't want to restore civilization too quickly. But NCR, I think, was doomed to fail, so that makes sense. Vlad von Karstein. How do you mess up the NCR uh, without the Caesar winning, right? So they had to do something. I 
There's gonna be a reference to Seasoned Legion, no doubt. Remnants, right? Like the Enclave. I think that part of the Brotherhood of Steel was just uh, the recruitment center. It's not like uh, their main base operations. Open field. Vampire Kaori. Why is there a uh, Killsdorf music playing after battles all the time? Well, it actually happens... Uh... It happens during the, uh, almost at the same time, I think, if not like a year later from Fallout New Vegas. Nine years out of Fallout 4. And how many years it's pulled for up for New Vegas? Like five, six years. Six. So it's like 15 years later. And New Vegas uh, is still uh, out there. So I guess the uh, house is going to be out there. House is definitely going to be there. You got a weapon that makes Vlad... Uh, uh, one of the things that makes Vlad crazy. Blood drinker. Gets uh, 5 attack, magic attacks, 10% damage, and 0.2 regeneration. And you can get uh, another 0.1 here, plus the, all the Vampire stuff for healing. I really gotta update the set bonuses since the, the Chaos Dwarf update. We would think they would have updated with, uh, with that update. I thirst. King of Darkness. I don't know, New Vegas is canon, uh, even Todd Howard, uh, Todd Howard said so. What happened in New Vegas, uh, Lord of the is, is gonna be part of the universe. But the, which version, who knows? It looks like, uh, Dr. Uh, Mr. House won. Or maybe it was the, the yes man. I mean, one can hope for scorn with the, you know, ninja patches. Remember when they, they released uh, the uh, the patch to the Shadows of Change Part 2? Uh, the most important changes were not even the patch notes. Get scary Kaori. Wind of Death. Really silly that the the vampire characters have to skill hunger and doesn't have hunger possibly.
Blood Drinker. Five Corruption actually sold it too on it. It's my cheaper recruitment, cheaper post, better loot, just like uh, old copy pasta. Uh, uh, they all have the skill hunger scorn. The ring is crazy. I mean, just 20% ward save, 5 defense is nuts. Which faction, in your opinion, have actual tier 5 worthy units? Well, uh, this could be an excellent question uh, before they release Thrones of Delay. But since Thrones of Delay, only dwarves. Everything else in the game is tier 4 at best. So have you tried Thunderbirds yet? They did in my Malachi campaign. They are insane. It is insane. Our uh, land ships are tier four. Steam tanks are tier five. They nerfed them only to their beat, only their toughness, they still have the firepower. Well, you know, what what C assigns in one slot and uh, how, the, how they perform the game is a totally different thing. They also have to uh, uh, consider how the faction behaves. Like, this faction is tier 3 at best. It's not tier 4, tier 5 of this faction. Remember, this is the original Raise Dead faction. Now, how the faction have it? But if you if you look into the stats and performance, tier three, tier three, this is almost tier four. I guess tier four can slide. Tier four definitely, and this is final tier four, especially since it increases its health. Morris Engine, Tier 4 definitely. Tier 5, they have no Tier 5. I mean, look at this. They haven't. They even haven't moved this building uh, to Tier 3 in uh, over two years. Star Dragon... Star Dragon is like uh, one of the best tier four units in the game. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's tier five. See, uh, uh, before the Thunder Bar, just sure, sure. I mean. Uh, how you assign things and how the the devs assign things are like this race that exists as well. It's like you have to consider that uh, there's nothing wrong with the uh, tier three. Tier three is uh, literally the game right now. Everything higher, uh, you have to play a long campaign, and you don't need to even hire units to play the game. Marcono says I'm a tier five Twitch viewer. Sure you are. Maybe they rework uh, Vampire Counts in the future and they make uh, the whole recruitment around uh, the race dead. Because the, the regular recruitment only only is there for the AI. The heroes are uh, one tier too high and uh, uh, tier 5 don't really do much. The best building is this. This is the best building. Like everything else is like an illusion to spend money. 
You need this and raise dead, nothing else. Heroes are a big part of the vampire counts, but since difficult and so shit, you don't even need heroes. Well, uh, it will make the air more consistent recruiting these units, but uh, they do use raised data from prime time as well. I think they can call the AI to use raised data all the time anyways. I mean, Daika does that. The another thing that the dead recently... I don't remember there was any changes to it. What the fuck? Why is a uh, regular cast uh, full AP and our cast 33 AP? It looks like it retains the regular damage and it adds additional uh, 48 damage as uh, non AP. It's still deadly. It has a, it has a wider radius, so it's still deadly. Isn't the guys apparently OP now? No, we can, I guess we could try it. It's uh, too expensive uh, to be shit, so it has to be really good. Man, this is an excellent lore. Uh, there's always been only one bad spell here, and that was days on the gosh. Just because it was too costly compared to all the alternatives. But uh, Gaze on the gosh has always been finely uh, balanced for these ports. Juka says, Hello, Elich, finally from the creation uh, sea. After a decade of plundering world seas, I finally entered your domain, Adriatic. Yeah, we have Emperor's pirates are approaching. You who? There is no reason to ever cast Gaze on the Gash unless you have uh, ridiculous amounts of power. And even then, you're better to probably support your army and do the Wind of Death all the time, anyways. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll try it on Isabella uh, uh, in this campaign and see. Ah, uh, Isabella doesn't even have it. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I might not be as good on the Necromancer, but I guess the Necromancer can unlock it. The damage uh, uh, looks fine, but it's costly. Uh, uh, Azza can overcast it, unfortunately. I still haven't given him the, uh, the upgrade versions. A lot of these spells uh, get way, way, way better once you get Spell Mastery, but uh, Spell Mastery is still hard to get unless it's part of unique items. So that's a problem as well. More, more uh, characters on higher rank should have access to more Spell Mastery to make uh, campaign uh, lores uh, more fun. They could add a small bonus to uh, uh, spell master in Iron Conduit. They could add a skill here on rank 30 to get spell master and stuff like that. Yeah. Anyways, Bound boys, I'm gonna get some tea me. and I'll see you in a bit. So, like 10 to 15 minutes. Good okay, boys. Rather uneventful so far, huh? Zinch, uh, another DLC, oh man. They got another DLC oh with Shadows of Change God. Part 2. Have you seen that shit? Oh, hey, Elf. Hey, Gnera, thanks. They will serve. Who shall we destroy? I think uh, we can safely occupy now. Vlad von Karstein. Yeah. 
we walk up with this guy, uh, we actually might bait the uh, uh, dragon closer to us. Destruction! Unleash undeath! Now! I'll buy it if they name it Shadow Change to Electric Boogaloo. Speaking of electric boogaloo, I might try this Coliseum at some point. If I ever find some free time anymore in my life. I saw the game was 75% uh, uh, on sale. If uh, somebody missed it. Items constantly. Tempelhof is no more. Darkness comes. My uh, uh, favorite thing about longer campaigns is uh, getting all the items and seeing if uh, there's something new, and then uh, just getting up characters. All shall know me. I just wish there was something more. King of darkness. But this or this. <sighs> Standard. Have you ever done a hero only army? Uh, yeah, yeah, several times. This province now as well. Let's see if we attract more attention here. We are going to be a while between Kessel Tempelhof, the Kessel Reinhof, and Zuber. Darkness comes. You dare. Yes. <clears throat> Actually, we need more units. Darkness comes. I am invincible. If you think it is wise, I'm going to hide blood around this area. Why not? I know my path. Dragon goes to tier three, then we'll check at Ash tier three. This place is probably not worth getting tier three uh, in this campaign. So now we have an option to get another one unlocked or just save for the Necrarch. The Necrarch Forbidden uh, Dark Arts is, uh, is potent, but uh, we're gonna like a couple of generals uh, while waiting for this guy. Maybe we unlock uh, two more and then go for that. This way we have enough generals uh, available. Because no matter what these guys get, we're gonna use them. Because regular lords don't even exist. Character spins again for seven percent. It's massive, right? It's like it's like a, a strong faction effect. These are literally just extra faction effects. The only thing that's missing on these guys is a unique uh, main trait. <clears throat> I think uh, we unlock two more, and then we get Necrack to the dark cards, forbidden dark cards. You a weapon master Lamian bloodline. That's hot. The world will drown in blood. <sighs> Interesting. Uh, she rolled a weapon master because there is no weapon master in present here. I so wonder if uh, it's all crap here today. She can roll any of those. She couldn't manage against the dragon, so. Hmm. 
I mean, even on the base, uh, she's pretty solid. Nobody's been coming on us from the Legion of Lords. We got uh, uh, Ungrim and uh, Draika nearest. That Griffin Wood is so weak. Maybe we drop everything just to destroy that. The first, uh, uh, first attack. I'm more worried about dragging anybody else here. I mean, it's been only what nine turns. It's looking uh, 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 like a Digital War style campaign with those three guys coming like that. Darkness comes. What is unthinkable? Necropolis awaits. Can we afford a the second army? Bring me flesh to craft. All shall know me. I might just besiege Temple Hall, but imagine he might also just stuck. What's Azak trait? Uh, 30 spell resistance. Sleep is for the living. Zombies fan, but the zombies can't kill anything, they just raise dead. Very well. It is done. <laughs> Kisses and it kisses. Wither, fool. Oh, I got a kiss. Now, If it's a Anchorman's kiss, no thanks. I'll get a Vampire kiss. Okay. That does it. This doesn't cost anything, uh, so why not? Uh, get this one up. We're in a, in a rough spot here for sure. In the, in the corner, I mean. Because uh, we move our main army in one direction, everybody's gonna come from another direction. So, grinding for experience right now, I guess. <clears throat> I 
Why did I call him Amira? I was supposed to call him Lauren. Why, why did I, I thought it was Amira? I'm uh, half asleep, I guess. The both blue. Yeah, I just see blue and that's it. It's like uh, when Dear Bro used those uh, weird emotes, you know, it's like it's like Arch Magnus yeah. speaking. How do you deal with the dwarves and the vampires? Uh, just uh, drop, drop and die. Summoning from repression buildings. What do you guys think about this uh, this Total War style campaigns or uh, just literally permanent war? I wish there was an option before you start a campaign that's a permanent war, that's everybody's that war with everybody. I wish there was an option for permanent war where everybody's at war with everybody, and I wish there was an option for this total cell campaign where everybody's at war just with the player. It is night. Actually dying to corruption. What the hell? King of Darkness. I shall enslave the world. Not up then. Your wish, Master. Exhausted there. Drag the shambler's move. <clears throat> Never. There's a short campaign victory here. Oh, because it requires Northern Slovenia. Look at this. We got uh, engage the enemy and the usual generic stuff. Meanwhile, all those new factions got only had like five missions. There. Bow. Do you take me for a wasik? Why are they recruiting Iron Drakes? Beacon. This is the starting army. It's on tier two now. What is unthinkable? Huh. Totally forgot about that. The Von Karstein. Soon I'll be all powerful. Find me Channel Pits. Death and destruction. Death and destruction. Let's go for Razak. <clears throat> Looks like a fine out result though. Save some time. But uh, we'll fight. When we thought bring me Nevrata's head was a teaser. <laughs> ah, that was only uh, six years ago, Sujek.
Close victory. Prediction for close victory. Biggins, boys. What do we do Biggins? Miasma and characters. Sucks uh, here. Our troops are still low rank. Another biggins on the right. Saved Wuru. Shaman did so much damage. Thing uh, pretty well here. 
Blood Knights! Undead Knights! I'm gonna pull them off here. Red Heist! Swiftly! Ooh, that damage there. 17,000 damage with a little charm. Close victory, by the way, low casualties. Beans. Man, that shaman uh, was so much damage. It was overcasting uh, uh, Edbot and it was dealing damage. It was only an overcast. I've never really seen uh, that Edbot uh, being cast uh, so well like that. There goes his army. Isabella. Taking taking some damage, but uh, got hit by Isabella's chalice. Her punishment is uh, is not capped right now. There's no reason to drop it on the hill. Uh, might not be time though. Nice victory. One beacons did well, but our battle skill uh, makes us good in Mela. Trolls got 63 kills. Maybe you had a Morris engine uh, here. Another trickster shard. Probably an armor of destiny will follow. I didn't notice uh, uh, that much pressure in Melo there. It's a pretty sweet experience. Sounds bad. Green Skinner, third spell resistance. Isabella and Emmanuel are flying. Vlad Cloud of Horror. Movement range, speed, strider. Now he's a vampire speed. The 
This makes it a minus four leadership, minus six attack. And has a, a nice cooldown on uh, Master Beguilement. Hmm. Monster Strength is, is really good. We're not getting Mortal Levis. Storm Knight is like an, 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 like an extra thing. I guess uh, the Mesmeric Aura uh, uh, and this experience thing. Unstoppable! It is buffed uh, by the training by 55%. So on top of training is actually quite a bit. Okay, cheaper wind of death and uh, magic reserves. Punishment. The reason I uh, go for extra characters is because uh, they got so much extra experience. Vampires uh, have access to a lot of character experience in the past. Soon I'll be all powerful. The world will drown in blood. The Von Karstein. This army looks okay right now. We'll keep the scale is uh, for many reasons. They will soon. We, we kind of need to get a second army going. Bring me flesh to craft. <laughs> Bring it all to me. Find I don't me believe he will attack them, but we'll still keep this guy there. You dare. All shall know me and tremble. Just out of range at 135 um, moment though. The world That's her moment. She has 10 extra. 15 extra. 25. But she, she doesn't have range either. Dracula. Blood is power. In core income and 15 growth. Seventy-five growth from deck alone. Did we meet anybody? I mean, we all met quite a bit of factions. Look at that. Let's go on match one on nine. We had what, fourteen factions, it, oh and most of them uh, were only enemy. We probably have a Belfire car mount for necromancer thing. Why, why Belfire? Darkness comes. What does that thing even do anymore? Flame resistance, uh, magic loss of attacks. But regeneration just better. I mean, you get flaming and magical attacks, so if anyone has fire weakness or uh, physical resistance, it does something. If they don't have it, that, it doesn't do anything. But uh, you're gonna have character, uh, we have available magics, uh, the army, anyways. Yeah, the Relic Rebinding does magical attacks too. Still, uh, the, the best thing on the Corpse card is Vigor Mortis, uh, the uh, other things are extra. But it's not just worth using for Vigor Mortis. There's an army of 15 units plus these guys. Oh man, they might actually go for Dragonhof. The Von Karstein. Ready. I don't like that idea. We gotta, we gotta bring Zuba down. Extra helm. All shall know me 
and tremble. Vlad von Karstein. Bats and wolves, gather! Well, Rixxer is at least active. We're gonna have a really impressive balance of power against us because of the flamers and stuff. But look at the uh, Furious, they're actually killing stuff now with Venice and Combatants. Karakadin went around. I guess they went for Grompig first. <clears throat> you guys feel it? The end is coming. They got ambushed by Trickster. It took them nine turns to activate. Soon this campaign ends, soon we play uh, guilt, right? What the fuck is this? Well, Kaisen Ring is here. I don't even remember uh, this battle, to be honest. Because I started with Isabella usually. So, 9 turn for them to activate now. Never. Funny how the still army got ambushed by, uh, by the trickster. Your wish, master. Wither, fool. Lauren failed us. I refuse. You dare. Darkness comes. Let's hope this campaign never ends then. Oh, you don't like guilt? No way. Bow. He might not retreat if we do like this. Blood is impressive. Man. Zuba really has to go down. Uh, he went for Grom Pig his usual opening, huh? Do you take me for a wazak? No. It's a lot of player pirates. King of Darkness. You dare. Time to die. Retreat? Damn, what the hell is this AI, man? They even retreat. What? Very well. It is done. Maybe they've hot fixed the AI. Invincible. Emperor is a massive snooze fest. Only thing worse than Emperor is dwarves. Are you the guy that whispers me on, on Steam every few weeks, uh, praying that I don't play any dwarves? Because they are so boring. Recent last uh, last message was uh, that they made wars even more boring. Uh, in my defense, I, I didn't time it out, boys. It's one of the mods. Mods are uh, big dwarf fans, so you have to be careful here when you're uh, talking shit about wars. Von Karstein. It is night. I shall drink them dry. No kills, Lord. Everything. 
Everything dies. I thirst. and garrisons. Why is he moving forward if he retreated? He's trying to stick around for the other settlement. So nine turns, uh, nothing, and now they all come. Smell weakness. Oh, well, there is definitely something. Eight technologies for Talisman preservation. Ignore that. Even balance of power on our side. Wow. <laughs> they have uh, the anti vampire technology for 7,000 gold. Otherwise, I think that would have been uh, balance of power. Mugrim is trying to ambush Vlad. Yes, plunder the grimoires. The shamblers move. Lauren fail us again. I am flat. I am going. We don't have a stance that uh, lowers ambush chance, huh? Camp here. I guess we might need to go into that ambush. Not likely. You dare. King of darkness. Sleep is for the living. Nope. Attrition is doing uh, damage. Champion of the dark. I'm just being annoying here. Begin devour of light. when uh, you're dealing with so many enemies is the uh, replenishment between the battles. 
if we take too much damage, uh, we're probably dead. But I still have to send things in the right order. I was just kidding, Aryan. It's like people were uh, sending uh, always uh, weird stuff. But there's a lot of uh, dwarf haters around. And the funny thing is that the dwarf campaigns are the most watched content I do. But there's also people, that, um, uh, most people complain about it as well. If I want to make like really a bank, I just need to queue like three dwarf campaigns, play 12 hours a day for a month. I'm sorry for two months. No <laughs> equals gold equals money. bunch of slayers but they have guns they don't have gun large ultimate dawi stream plan all dawi can face at once let chat switch only between dawi watch the hate and money flow i think that would be uh, that would be extreme Guns see the flyers. They are just really one dimensional, no variety or mobility, just sit in a box. Zombies. Oh man, look at that! Rune of slowness and getting shot to death. Wow. Yes. So be it. <laughs> I 
Guard. Agreed. So much trouble to uh, the infantry. Isabella! Oh my god! We are the she, new she, order! Hey, kill! Seven months and I'll hit a hundred. Who got you? Hungry for blood! Victory is mine! Only man thing to create such a living place. Send them back to ground. End them! Get damage. Lord of the dead. His uh, his has been missing. Oh. End them. I got a lot of big balls on him. Isabella von Kastein. Darkness comes. It would be really nice to bring more to so I will have one right now. And, uh, some Invasion of the Sylvania and all the other guys fake. Isabella von Kastein! So the pirates are not very good melon. Isabella, man, it looks like she's taking some damage. Like, like left, her left eye is like all blood and shit.
We got a Slayer King Slayer, five talk. Not bad, we are, we're not gonna be doing uh, card skills yet. I'm getting all the all the worst items. Who replenish me, Tom? Back to three kisses already. Vlad von Karstein. The world will drown in blood. I shall enslave the world. Don't have them for in range. Get to retreat in the mountain. Very well. have Zuber in range. It is done. Lord of the Dead. Oh, man. So lower the chance against harassed by enemy heroes. Upgrades the minus four leadership aura to minus four leadership and minus six attack. And his uh, hex uh, goes to one on cooldown. Then monster strength, uh, he gets sundering attacks, which lowers 30 armor on the enemy. Who, who is a counter effect. The entire army gets 5 uh, base damage and then another 10% weapon strength. The Von Karstein. Into darkness. Maybe they don't attack the for next turn. If you think it is wise. We almost got a tier two. Garrison here looks okay, but we need more than okay. If they're gonna be trespassing here, we should let them uh, make take, make them take more damage. Another 50% uh, kills are from pre uh, their retreat. Get extra tier three. Uh, Benches seems like the best option uh, for the extra wound. All shall know me and tremble. Midnight children, eight attack and eight leadership for uh, monsters. We have Vargas in the army that benefits from this. Probably better get Kondo if we have too much power and not enough recharge right now. Don't care about the Oakland's Mind Razor. Gaze of Nagash, huh? I'll pick it just to see uh, uh, how it is these days. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Get this first. Let's increase the uh, the range. I think to like 45 meters. We might save Temple up there, but there's so much shit coming out that we're probably gonna have to be stuck around the Dragon Half if. Maybe we get it pushed. In these type of campaigns, uh, especially when you are considered holding an area, like in what happened in the Empire campaign, we would have been in a really bad shape if they pushed us out of Aldorf, but the AI failed to do that. So the best they can do in the like first 20, 25 turns is to push us from a strong position. In this case, Kess Dragonhof. So if they push out of Kess Dragonhof, then we are circling the drain. 
But in the Empire campaign, the, they actually failed to do that around Alder. We'll see if they can do it around Dagenhof. I got uh, three Black Knights right now and no money for more, so I guess we we'll remove this building. But uh, on, on the cheap side of units, it's the best one. Unless we're using a lot of heroes. There's uh, nothing, nothing even to build. Yeah, uh, there's armory. Armory unlocks the Black Knights and the White King. And they still forgot to put the direct for tier 3 for over 2 years. Vlad von Karstein. Okay, uh, we said that we unlock one more and then all kisses for the uh, for Necrarch. Cavalry is a big deal of Emperor count, so we'll get damage on the Cavalry. The world will drown in blood. This is some of the best uh, basic battle skills in the entire game. One is for the basic infantry and one is for the cavalry. And this guy grants uh, uh, cavalry 15% uh, weapon strength on top. One of the, one the worst stresses in top five worst. One day, a strategist, tactician, dark uh, majesty uh, determined. And can I call what is the fifth one? Uh, will uh, be changed or removed from the game. It's still immortal size, so it's fine. Strategy does something, but it's 5% uh, as a main trade, it's next to nothing. Strategy would be cool if it was 50%. Ah uh, yes, Brother in Arms, Talbeckland and the Changeling. This may also spawn next to us. No range. What the fuck? The von Karstein. Almost 
not impossible. Hopefully our city is good enough uh, to not get attacked uh, immediately. Losing Dragonhove uh, uh, would be uh, really bad. All shall know me and tremble. Zuhat's war! There's no more to scout here, and uh, we have to clear a couple of arms in the area. The bounce power is good here. We could clear a uh, boredom on this turn and then almost hold the planch. Bow! These are mountains. We can auto resolve if uh, we don't have a max bounce of our replenishment. Can I kill him up to destroy all his skulls as well? He has at least four cults from looks good. What? I have no time for Looks like uh, both uh, Karakadin and Karazakar are doing great. Feels bad, man. Dwarves control Mount Goomba, Karak the Karak and Black Krag. Uh, it's like the craziest amount of arms you can have in, on the air these days. I am unstoppable. Shake their blood. No, no. It's not I ideal, not but. We have to clear Zuba too. There's already another army being recruited here. King of Darkness. Predictions up, let's go. Well, I was hoping uh, we'd get a spicy blood campaign, and this is looking good. I'm rooting for the AI. The, the, the cow one was disappointing. They didn't even take Aldorf. Hopefully, uh, my uh, the almonds are not triggering the microphone too much. It is actually. are excellent uh, in sieges. If we had Immortal Horror and a little bit of higher stats on Isabella and Vlad, they can solve the entire city. A day doesn't pass when I don't kill some nuts. Had the hazelnuts and walnuts last week. This week's are walnuts. They only have superior stats, but uh, they have uh, shooters. Hopefully, they don't use them well.
If it's here, Scorn, I would have given you half a bag. It's like uh, 300 grams of new almonds. It's like for uh, four people. Salted? No, I just uh, just raw raw almonds. I eat all the all the nuts raw. Nobody shooting. Nobody shooting. All everybody's fine. With haste. I am busy. Oh, I uh, first. Very well. Wait. Noble of the night, and them. Don't face the mood of Siren Rex. What the fuck? The Rangers are in a really good position. Time there. I ascend by my will. Night has fallen. Man, their thunders are only on the right spots. Find me if you dare. Look, look at this. Look at all these angles. What the fuck, man? Someone knew it's gonna bug. Those guns, man, they fucked us up. Swiftly, quickly, swiftly. And the door is bugged. There for sure. Let's get some vigor at least. They're shooting Vlad, and we can't do anything about it now. Huh? Still taking damage uh, high up there in the, in the on the on the thingy there. Isabella Van Kastein. With haste. 
Said enough, you know. They will be mine. Order of the Blood Dragon. Door is still bugged. I get this downside of attacking everything in one door, the door box. It's to Graveguard, I'm not having a very good time here. I think there's a bug on the barricade regarding munition. It's there with the ghouls, you might have to sit, but uh, there are going to be so many dead units. Generating ammunition on the on the barricade. That's a hidden feature. What are we gonna do about it? Finally. Yeah, I might just 
Bella getting shot like that. Grinder here, uh, uh, some of the dev guns is in really bad shape. We are the new order. What the fuck is this? Sh this tower is Hell's guns as well. Kneel before your master. Swiftly, quickly. They, uh, this door is well. the same shit on. All shall perish! Vampire! Someone gonna run around. The guy can move. The door is closed and not open. The will enter the city soon. I can't do much against the killer, the killer will bully me. Barricade, man, those guys look so fucking dead when I break that barricade. Replenish the munition, huh? Oh, that's a, new, that's a feature now. That's a, that's a new thing. Was bugged before, now it's a, now it works uh, like a feature. I'm having good fish today as well. You don't need to buy a lot of things and shit. Don't you lie when they resist? Blood von Karstein. Let's get back now. Service. 
Here's a check. What the fuck my chair froze? Dead chat, dead stream. It was bad, man. Dead range pressure. Psh. Walk in the park. Was, uh, that was Zubar. I mean, that's this feels like a sage. That's a lot of experience. Can't believe uh, the Varga section survived. But they had no no ways to deal with the cavalry. The moment we entered the city, they all fucked. Our cover is stacked. Just get a 90, uh, 980 Pro uh, drive. It used to cost so much, uh, not so, so expensive anymore. Thank you, Temple. Big V says, I'm surprised they didn't give you a close view with all those low skills. Yeah. Blood. Blood. Necromancer Blood. did a great job there. He kept the graveyard alive with the master of the dead. I was useless, yeah, but I'm still looking forward to them, right? I didn't even check how much power we used. I think we used like two thirds. Hero action cost minus three three percent, but what minus three three percent? Where a faction, regional province? Shades online.
Most like her own. Oh my god. No. No, it is. It is. Shit. Fucking hell. Oh no, it's her. God damn it, man. I don't believe. I guess the legendary heroes of the vampires are not, you know, up to snuff. I gotta get rid of these almonds before I eat them all. I better back. Here. This skills makes no sense. Because this is uh, strictly pretty much a, a battle hero. And uh, for the kisses, you want a uh, higher chance to succeed. Like, should have been uh, like plus 20% chance to succeed in hero actions as well. Why would you put his bell outside the army? Makes no sense. I guess only the battle wizards can have those skills these days. Yeah, Queen B uh, is pretty good uh, for kisses. Well, we've taken Zubar. At least we crippled the dwarf here for the moment. We gotta uh, try to fight him off at the Kess Drenhof. It's gonna be uh, two hairy turns here. If we get this, we might be fine. Might be. Why are they attacking me? Mm, order of factions. Order of factions. Mm. Are ogres uh, before or after the dwarves? Ogres all looks bad. Uh, bad anyways. These units are really poor without a charge, and this is a siege. Oh, well, looks like uh, we got a defensive siege here. Those are so rare. Can uh, can let them mess up uh, Dragonhof. We really have to keep it. Three sides. 
I mean, they could uh, they could m uh, mess with us if they use the wall breaker, right? I wonder what they were thinking when they were building uh, uh, this area of the wall and this area of the wall. Also, really shit for the undead. We don't even have any shooters. This one is upgraded, though. Telling where they're gonna go from here. Why is there another barricade here, for, for example? That would make too much sense. Too much sense. Towers are absolute crap, but uh, the monuments are solid. This barricade here, like, what the hell, man? Sometimes I think it's uh, uh, they just uh, they take the same city and then just reverse uh, the positions of the stuff, so it looks different, but it's uh, worse. Three groups, so I'm gonna count zombies. Although, uh, this one makes me just sense to, to not send them in. We don't really even need that the, the, uh, the monument, I guarantee they're gonna go there. There's a tyrant on that side. will struggle with Gregor armor.
Okay, let's go like this. Things are highly, uh, really, really inaccurate. Hey, Carney. Wall breaker. Wow. Yeah, 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 doesn't know even know how to use wall breaker. If they use the wall break with all the uh, ogre bulls, this would be a mess. I don't want the water scenes to uh, tug the doors. Look what's happening. Two thirds are uh, getting blocked by the uh, one third, and then one third is uh, hitting but uh, not doing any damage. It's been blocked since the game got released. Most of the one of the best they used to destroy doors back in Warhammer 2. Hey, Rock Somper. This unit is a uh, siege attacker, this unit is not siege attacker, it's uh, destroying the door for twice as fast. What was collapsed here? Why? Why is the walls collapsed? They have ability for, the, the, for that. Attention had the ability, but look, they broke the wall and they're still attacking the door. Skeletons, I guess, have been passive here, right? Nobles are killing them. When perfection of the existing monster receive in opinion the highest amount of power when the vampire work eventually rise. Uh, whoever is the DLC faction spot they always got the latest uh, guns and mechanics and shit. Whoever is gonna be the new lord.
Neferata by the guns. Imagine scorn they give uh, Neferata a uh, Vampire Thunder Barge. I can totally see uh, uh, scared my getting something like that. The stolen from the dwarves. <sighs> when they rework Grand Pepe, don't copy me at me here. He's gonna have an ability that uh, will have like a 15 turn cooldown. He will click one button and you'll destroy the entire province. Every army, every city will be in ruins. Just you watch. Good are the uh, vampire garrisons. Vampires have an extra garrison building, so they can get the uh, pretty good stuff. Plus, there's a pretty corruption that might slow them down. There's no range units, but get an extra garrison option. You can be bold, yes. Uh, one is a special building that provides extra garrison and uh, corruption raises benefits. Another one is the garrison. Do I need the, the thing of Emperor? Uh, I need some range units. Uh, I don't think so. Wouldn't, uh, wouldn't it be in the end of the world they got like skeleton arches and maybe another uh, mid-range range unit, but I think it's the end of the world if they don't have any. <sighs> Guys, man, fucking hell! I thought uh, CA Ninja patched uh, the Skeleton Warriors to give them finally some missile resistance. But they have uh, missile resistance on the wall. This guy's actually managed to charge there. They're actually murdering stuff here. Actually murdering stuff there. Maybe we should take an out resolve after all.
You never know what to build a tower that doesn't have the range anymore. The side we're doing well, but uh, the rest of the sides uh, we can erect. Got a little bit stable, so must have been the the, the charred bones that he did. They can run around the city, which is a problem for us. Some kind of ability that I missed. Even the black knights, though. Geometry kills its numbers. The city is just really big. Another fastest for this encounter. Zombies are chasing numbers. The 
uh, two two units, uh, ogre bulls are uh, kind of support. The charge uh, messes up infantry, but uh, didn't see uh, that effective before charge inside the city. They're not charging us, uh, we're fine. Bulls all about to charge. Hey, Costas. I mean, Outer Soul would have nearly killed everything as well. But if somebody has a seat in range now, it's looking pretty bad for the follow up. Usually one army does, uh, is, doesn't have enough. Need some help here. I was uh, quite a surprise when they ended the city, man. It caused so much damage. Victory, massive casualties. If uh, there's another army in, in this area, well, Dragon Home might go down. And we, it's gonna back to go to tier 1. The main loss for that is uh, the income. But if the garrison is also diminished, they might not attack it. But uh, there's another factor here if the enemy has an army in range. So diminished garrison might not work in that case. I don't think uh, these guys can kill us, uh, the Lord. Oh, fuck! We good. Uh, the Greenish Garrison boys. They didn't attack it because the Garrison was damaged. Fucking AI, man. It's so bad. This guy said range. I'm pretty sure this guy said range. Maybe they didn't, maybe they were at max. I will never know. Nearly lost Dragonhold there. Nearly lost Dragonhold. That is the worst that can happen in this type of campaigns. Losing the capital. Hey, this boys. That's enough excitement for tonight. To be continued. Tomorrow we're probably playing Battle Brothers. More blood to come. Thanks for watching and good night. I'm really going to sleep. Sheep Village. Good night.